Beans and G's, welcome back to the series. If you've missed any of the previous episodes, click the link in the description or in the top right, and that will get you caught up on everything you've missed. All right, guys, we've got eight hours on the clock this episode. And as you can see where I'm starting, we are starting the timer because I want to get into this game. We are going to be doing some Soul Wars uh, because you can get, like, a mil XP a day, apparently, and obviously you get, like, five times the rewards and stuff. Uh, and apparently it's a really good way to train prayer, or at least I'm guessing it is, because people are training their other skills that way, so surely prayer would be a good way to do it. So, we start the timer. I'm going to jump into these games, see what they're going to be like. I have really no expectation. I've just sort of, like, seen it on Twitter and Reddit and stuff, people talking about how good this is, so I'm going to give it a go. I don't even know if you're, like meant to play properly. I don't really know what everyone's up to, but I guess we'll uh, we'll see Wag. Oh my god, I'll be able to cast Ice Barrage in here. Oh, that's actually big. Uh, I'm guessing this is just going to be an absolute shit fest in terms of damage and stuff. Oh, 200 points for casting Ice Barrage? Oh, this feels evil. This feel this feels this feels evil. Oh my god. I might just do it for the fun of it. Boom. Win a game of Soul Wars. And I got 190 points for that. Oh my god. Game starts in three minutes. Let's um trade these in. Uh 100 tokens. Confirm. That's 50k prayer XP right there. Uh is that good? I don't know. I guess. I guess I have another 50k, so it's 100k XP per game. Yeah, that's that's pretty that's pretty banging. It took what nine minutes? I missed that one, but I guess this world is so full. This world is literally max players. There's just a game every like fucking few seconds. Today's sponsor is Enlisted, a game I've played a lot even before the sponsor. Enlisted is great because of the constant action it provides and it does it in a brilliant way. The battlefields are huge and have hundreds of enemies and this is achieved by their awesome PvP and PvE mechanics. Real players take control of AI squads and command them around the battlefield. You can also take control of any of the members in your squad and these aren't just random AIs. These are personally customized squads that you made previously. On top of that, one of my favorite things is the short time to kill. Combat feels like it matters and one wrong move can be devastating. Enlisted offers multiple campaigns featuring their own unique weapons, vehicles and equipment from the outskirts of Moscow in 1941 to the heart of Berlin in 1945. So why not give it a go? It's totally free to play on PC, PlayStation and Xbox and if you use my link in the description or the pinned comment you'll get a free bonus pack with multiple weapons, soldiers and a premium account. Hey guys, welcome to episode 4 of the Trailblazers Reloaded series. As you can see, we have eight hours on the clock, and I'm excited because there is just so many fucking upgrades that we are going to get in this video. And every single one of these upgrades is going to help what you guys just saw in the last episode work a lot better. I was able to freeze him. I got next to him. Now, all I need to make sure is that my melee pops off when I'm attacking. We need better stats. We need things like Dragon Offenders, Leaf Bladed Axe. Higher magic defense, which, you know, is pretty much just tied to the magic level, which we can easily get. A lot of these things I'm going to do are going to be like two-parters. Train magic, get magic defense, get the fury. If, if I go for defender, I'm going to get my melee stats up. I go for leaf bladed axe, I'm going to get my melee stats up. I'll be honest, at least in the first part of this episode, I'm probably not going to rely too much on doing tasks. I think I'll get a decent amount just getting things like i think equipping a dragon defender is one of them maybe runes one as well i'll definitely be hitting some milestones along the way i'll be getting combat levels and i'll definitely get a thousand total levels so yeah we're definitely going to be getting some tasks done just naturally we'll make sure we have a prayer up a little bit we'll make sure we have prayer pots because i need to even start making sure i put on some magic attack prayer when I'm just defending, eating, and frozen. There is so much I can do still going forward to counter Link. So I'm excited to see what I can do in eight hours. We're going to start by Teleoking, getting 84 magic, and getting a Fury and a Region Bracelet. All right, guys, we have 80 magic, and we're only, what is that, 25 and a half minutes into this episode. I got the screen markers on because it makes it so much easier because I know exactly where to click. It becomes very brain dead. All right, we are coming up on that 84. I can't stress enough. 
how important magic is. Magic attack, magic defense, extra magic attack, magic defense with the Furies and the region bracelets. Okay, I'm going to try to do something silly. I don't think this is actually going to work, but I'd like to try it. I'm going to make a Berserker necklace as well. Now, I could probably hit pretty high with that darn thing, but it does give a lot of negative stats, and I don't think it'd be worth bringing in the fight, even if my KO potential is higher, because he'll just hit every single time with magic with it on, and it kind of defeats the purpose of bringing a whole bunch of magic defense, because it literally gives like minus 15 or minus 20 magic defense. It's wild. But I'd like to maybe just try it for Slayer and just see how it works. Again, I'm not expecting much, but it'll only take a few more minutes of selling, so... It'll be fun to try. We gotta have some fun on leagues here. All right, let's do this. I'm very excited. Let's um, let's actually drop one so we don't accidentally do the whole double make method. Um, because my perk has fucked me in the past. Although, let's be honest, even if that did fuck me up there, wouldn't have been the worst fuck up. It takes sheer minutes to get another Onyx. Okie doke. Drink. Let's do this quick. I mean, I could just get another Wizard Mind Bomb. There's the Fury, there's the Region, and there is the Berserker Necklace. Look at my magic defense. <laughs> oh my god. It even goes plus up one with the with magic gloves. That's awesome. That just, oh, ugh. Ah, that's why I don't bring that in the fight. But it might be fun to train with. I doubt it's faster, but... I like to test new things, like I said. All right, it is time to go for the defenders. There's some tasks we can get, and of course, the defender, even though it doesn't give magic defense, it, it'll it'll be so crucial to have on when I'm actually attacking Link. We saw how many zeros I hit last episode. Now, of course, in part, that's just because I have very shitty stats. Um, why is, oh, it's the wizard mind bomb. I was like, why the fuck is that lower? Hey, that's a task as well. Always love getting tasks when I don't even expect them. I forgot I needed armor. And I can't buy legs anywhere except from here, I'm pretty sure. Wrong shop. Yeah, here we go. Actually, I don't think these break. I think they don't break under, like, steel. All right, let's see how this does. I also have the the mace. I wonder if that's actually better than the longsword um, with the berserker necklace just for sheer training. Am I... Am I just going to hit that many zeros? Maybe it was just unlucky. I don't know. It actually doesn't seem that good at all, though. Why so many zeros? No! And with the mace, I only had a plus one max hit, but I get all the accuracy bonuses of the Fury and the Dragon Longsword is just better accuracy-wise, so figured it wasn't worth it. We only had to kill the three Mithril Warriors because you get, like, five times the tokens. I was getting 125 per. Um, I guess that's four I killed then. But, uh, yeah, let's see how long this takes. It should be, like, one in 12 for a drop, or one in 16 if it's uh, 3x. I'm at the 3x drop table, I'm pretty sure. So hopefully we can just get to rune in all of 500, to be honest. There's the rune defender. All in only, what is that? Uh, 270 tokens? You're telling me it's not a task to equip a rune defender? Come on. I know equipping a dragon one is, so let's go get that real quick. Now, it's double the drop rate. So what is that going to be? It's going to be like 1 in 33 or so from these guys. See if we can get in 230. We should be able to. Reach 1,000 total, 40 points. I've probably killed about 60, 62, I think it was so far, and haven't gotten it. So I'm double the drop rate if it is 1 out of 33 like I think it is. I, I'm assuming it's affected. It has to be because there's a task on it um, and all the other defenders are. It'd be a bit silly if it wasn't. Might have to bank and get more tokens. I mean, that takes really quick, as you guys know. And it's not that bad. Even though I'm going kind of dry, I am still training. I'm putting it all into strength, because when I start Kurasks after I get 70 Slayer, I'm going to have to train on controlled or defense, and I'll probably pick control just to get my attack and defense up a little bit. And then I, don't, I have no idea how long that'll take, but once I have the axe, if I get the axe, it's probably going to be back to strength, killing something else. I'll figure out something. But I'm glad it just happened because it did with 30 tokens left right after that last clip. Give me those points. It's going to be 80. 80 points. Love it when you see the 80. The 40 is good. Don't get me wrong. But the 80 is just so much better. And I just want to show real quick. I'll take a second. That was my attack bonus. 69. Nice. In the last fight. It's going to go to 111. And that's assuming I don't have the battle axe. 
All right, that's another game done. And if we trade that in, trade that in. Boom. Oh, 59 prayer now. Huge. 90 combat. Woo. Come on, get in, get in, get in. So apparently not PvPing and just going straight to the boss. I mean, obviously it kills the games quicker, which is more points per hour. But apparently you get more points yourself as well, like per game. Uh, so, yeah. Everyone's sort of like trying to rally everyone together to do that. So that's what I'm up to now. Just killing the bosses off and, yeah, hoping that we get a load of points. All right. That is another game done. That was a way quicker game as well. We've earned 155. Meh. It's sort of the same as what I was doing. Who's dropping fucking that many bronze bars? Uh, so that's another 200 tokens. Boom. 200k XP just there. Oh my god. All right, something else that I've noticed I should be doing is I should be buying like 10 at a time. Because then the level scales higher. I know it's a little bit slower, but at least I'm not missing out on like extra points, if that makes sense. Because every time I get a level, the XP goes up slightly. So I think after this one, it will go up. Yeah, 112 XP now. So definitely a better method. I mean, my level is going through the roof right now. 10 more. What have we got? 70 prayer. I might leave it there. We are 9k off 71. I'm pretty happy with that. Who's just dropping like an armadillo chain skirt? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh dear. Alright, plan now is to get as many Raynars as possible because I want to do that Jad task and I also want to go to God Wars. So yeah, that's what we're doing now. Alright, that will do for now. I've got a few in the bank and we also have that um, proc chance that we make extra as well. So we might make some extra prayer uh, potions just by making these. So I'm going to put these in the bank and then grab some snake grass. Boom. So we made four extra right there, which is lovely. We've got 19 now and if we go again, we've got a chance to make even more extra. One more extra, nice. And then, when we make them up, there's a chance of making extra as well. So, let's see if we get lucky. There's 44 herbal coming in. And we made three extra ones. So, just having a few, like, Raynars can actually be pretty huge. Because you end up just outputting so many more than you normally would. Uh, make 30 prayer potions, nice. Uh, so, we've got, what, 29 now? Perfect. Uh, let's go do a fire cave attempt. <laughs> that is the plan now. Just before we get into that fire cave attempt, though, we are going to get the Ring of Shadows. Because it's a good little ring uh, that's going to help us in everything, to be honest. We get 5 plus magic defense. We get attack bonus, 5 plus a magic attack, 2 plus prayer, and 2 melee strength. So, I don't know. I, I don't think it's worth bringing to the fights, to be honest. But I do think it's worth using in my progress. 94 magic is about to come in, which will give me Ice Barrage. I don't know if I'll use it, to be honest. Um, I might use it for like situations where meleeers are around and stuff. But the Blood Barrage is nice because that means I just stay at full health constantly. doesn't really matter what happens. There we go. Ice Barrage unlocked. Obviously, we did um, actually cast this in the game Soul Wars. So I'm not going to get the task for it again. But very nice. We take it. All right, moment of truth. We've got the major next. Am I going to be able to hit it? I'm going to say yes, which is so stupidly accurate. But obviously, it has very high magic defense. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. I mean, ridiculous how accurate we are. Ridiculous. Okay, I thought that was going to take a little bit longer. That's actually way more accurate than I thought it was going to be. That is 95 magic coming in, and that's 200 points as well. So I'm now 2,300 points away from the next relic. Um, we're coming up to wave... What is this? 58. So yeah, Jad, very soon. Been fine, to be honest. I took way too many supplies, as you can see. Now, I feel like I might need to kill the mages, or the healers even, because of Jad's mage defense but we'll see yeah we're not gonna hit like a crazy amount there we go lovely no issues let's do it fire cape on the account um did we get any actual we got 209,000 slayer xp uh did we actually get any points for that no okay Denying the healers. Is that, uh, did I stop them from healing completely? I don't know. There's the point for wearing the fire cape. 200. Very, very nice. We're picking back up on our task from the last episode, and that first kill I got was already so much faster. <laughs> 
Wow, the difference is just insane. We're also a lot higher strength and we have pots now because we can just buy them. So I didn't want to waste time making pots before because if it takes 30 minutes, that's 30 minutes of less training and times 12 multiplier. It's a huge difference. But now that I can just buy them, I mean, we love this. What a start to the episode. I'm probably going to fuck this guy up now. I mean, he's going to still fuck me up, but oh, it's just such quick XP when you get these guys versus when you don't. And the drop is uh, nothing. Link got so many uniques. Oh, that's good cooking XP because I could just one tick him. Link got so many uniques the last episode. And I just realized I forgot my last recall, which sucks because I usually just bank after that. I mean, I still will because it'd be dumb if I if, if another spawns, I wouldn't be able to kill it. But yeah, we're going to get 70 Slayer and Karasks. Karask it up. Just got a rune full helm. And that's the first one. And the drop is more raw monkfish. I want some uniques, man. I want some uniques. I had to cancel literally like maybe seven tasks to get a monster that had superior Slayer monsters. I still have like 700 points or something, but I really wanted a task that has superior Slayer monsters because it's just the fastest XP than if I was killing like fire giants or hellhounds, which are probably better XP as like a base monster, but of course, you can't get like a bloodthirsty hellhound. They just don't exist. So yeah, I still have like 700 points. I do want a Kuras task when I get 70. 70 Slayer Kuras. All right, we are skipping this task. Cancel. Yes. Before I get a new one though, how many points do we have? Check. 669. They're all going to be sent to see if we can get it. There we go. There we go. I thought it wasn't going to happen. I went through a lot. Oh my god. You can see how many I canceled. I got Tarath like three times as well. I'm furious. All right. Well, not that furious because we ended up getting it. How many points do we have? 99. Okay. So we could hopefully get a decent amount this uh, task with uh, superiors and stuff. But let's bank. Let's grab all of our stuff and head right back with uh, Crystal Memories. All right, let's pot up. This is going to be my home for quite a bit now, guys. Or five minutes if I get incredibly lucky. We are going to be trading on controlled. It's either that or defense. I'd rather do controlled. So my defense and attack can go up without actually really training it. Like I'm forced to use control right now, if that makes sense. And then... Ooh. Oh, it's just a, I thought it was a... I don't want a combat task. I want league points. There we go. First superior came so quick. And also, I'm going to pick up these big bones as well. That's also a plan I have in mind is to use these to get to 43 prayer. Ooh, not... I just got here. I just fucking... Oh my god, I need to think. 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 Jesus fucking Christ, I need to think. Guys, I hope you don't mind that I just paused the timer real quick just so I can have a minute to process what happened. I mean, obviously I'm not gonna I'm not gonna move in game or anything. Guys, I don't think you realize how much of a game changer this is. The base chance of the act is like one out of 1024, I think it is. And even with a three times drop rate, it's still like one in 300. Sure, it's not like crazy rare. Like it's, I would have gotten it this episode, but the amount of time I just saved is so insane i don't even know how to put it into words so this whole time i didn't really want to train any more range because i had wanted to go for the void now the void is a lot better than the black dehyde because the body actually gives the exact same magic defense as a black dehyde body and the void knight legs are better a lot better magic defensively wise we get five times the points, and I think I already get four normally. So if I get 20 points a game, we should probably not stay in the middle because these are going to die so fast. I mean, they're, they're going to die so fast everywhere. But instead of going for Black Dehyde, I'm thinking I just go for the Void Knight top and bottom, and maybe even the Mage as well for a Mage Switch. Even if I don't do that, maybe the XP is just astronomical i don't know i figured it was worth a shot i'm gonna do a few games i think worst case scenario if i don't think void is worth it if it's gonna take way too long then i'll probably just put the xp into combat and call it a day i mean that game was so quick let's see how many points we get fucking 20 oh my god 
And I've got Iron Rank. Hell yeah, boys. Two tasks. It's all going down. I don't know, guys. That was a really, really fast game for a lot of points. And it didn't take much time at all for the boat to refill again. I think I'm going to be here for just a little bit. You know, it's actually weird because I honestly feel like... Unless you're going for a task, doing things like this in leagues is so pointless. But yet... My whole goal in leagues and Link's whole goal in leagues is so niche because most people here are just playing for points, playing for ranks, having fun. I shouldn't say I'm not having fun, but no one here is trying to get void because they're thinking like, oh yeah, I want strong magic defense against monsters. I think I'm the only one who's probably thinking that. All right, we just got 85 strength and that is 800 points. Now, don't worry. I'm still gonna get Void this episode, but I do think it's more beneficial to dump it in my combat stats right now. More specifically, Strength. We actually just got 85 Strength. I wanna see how much XP I get. I'm very nervous. Oh my gosh. <gasps> what? Dude, this... I... <laughs> oh, I was gonna do Attack. That's so fucking low, though. I might train attack in the game and then, oh my God, guys, look at that. I might train attack while I'm getting points and then, yeah, that'll go up to like 75, hopefully. I can't believe I'm 90 strength already. Achieve my first 90. That is fucking insane. The, the pop-ups are so delayed. And the XP drops just keep getting fucking bigger and bigger. And we still have one more. Guys, we're still... <laughs> oh my gosh! I'm 94 fucking strength! We can now get into the inner city. And we can buy the equipment. So if we trade with this guy... Yes, we can now buy the obby stuff. Which is lovely. Uh, there might be some tasks here. But I don't know if I have the attack to actually wear any of it. But I'm pretty sure all of this is a task. Boom, 80 points. Uh, and the cool thing about this is it gives very little um, negative magic. So if we take these off, they don't give any negative attack bonus, just negative defense. Um, and the helm actually gives no negative defense. So I still have plus 40 magic in this gear, which is pretty cool. Um, obviously, we... Do lose a prayer bonus but it just means when i need to be a bit tankier at times i can just do that and possibly this is worth bringing to the fight i don't know he is trying to freeze me and obviously i want to negate freezes as much as possible so maybe this is still better but it is an option for if uh, he's getting a lot of hits on me we can just tank a little bit harder because look at that we're going from what 50s 60 to 180 insane all right plan now is to go through a load of tasks i want to try and unlock this area in this episode so we've got 125 to do um so i'm going to grab the tellies and stuff out and just start doing a load of tasks i should have done earlier um and yeah simple things like go through the alcarid gate you know like stuff we can do easily all right been firing through the tasks uh we did just hit 1000 total level which is pretty cool um and yeah we've got 101 left 1500 points to the next relic currently doing some clue scrolls now because we've got to get some uniques we've got to complete clues um so yeah i'll just show you the caskets as they come guys this might be the casket for the beginner so we'll have a chat with him it's not one more step let's have a look see what we get uh, nothing here we go open it up Ooh, complete one easy clue scroll still no uh, unique in all of that though so let's start going into the mediums now so i was just doing this clue and i needed an amulet of power so i looked into it and i can buy them in um tazar here now that i've got a fire cape and i've just bought 500 diamonds i think i might be able to get a really quick 99 here let's have a look what's one inventory going to give me 47k it, it might be worth it guys because i'm get, getting a 99 is a big pointer and i get the the cape as well which would be nice Okay, here it comes. My first 99 on the leagues after this. There we go. Boom. 99 crafting. Huge. Okay, let's go and uh, grab that cape. Boom. I don't know if we're going to get a task for this. No task. That's a shame. Uh, for those of you who don't know, let's just teleport straight to the crafting guild, which to be fair isn't too bad because uh, I don't actually have a teleport here. 
and we can use this bank as well, which is nice. All right, we've got the medium clue. Um, this will be a task, whether or not I get a collection log item. Ooh, 10 points, lovely. Uh, and we do get ourselves a couple bits of uh, collection log unique. So that's solid. There we go, gain a unique item as well. 40 points there, lovely. 950 points and 86 tasks to go. All right, I just quickly bashed out 40 range. There was quite a few tasks to like uh, equip bows, green dehyde, which I'm about to do now. Um, and now I'm going to go and try and kill the cow fight queen. Um, it's an 80 point task, which would be very helpful towards the 780 that we need to do. Um, and I think, I feel like I watched a video somewhere where someone was talking about you can just use one combat style against the cow fight queen. I think I might have actually bought the green dehyde. Let me just check quickly. Uh, you can just use one combat style against the cow fight queen. It's just really tanky. So I'm thinking in leagues, maybe I'll be able to just mage it down. So I'm going to give it a go. Um, let's see. Did I buy? I didn't. There we go. Equipped a full dr green dragon hide set. Lovely. All right. Let's see how this goes. Uh, I'm hitting off the bat, which is nice. Taking a bit of damage here. I'm going to protect from mage because obviously I've got more range defense than mage. Uh, I might quickly just freeze this guy as well. And I think we'll change to Blood Barrage. Just to get those passive heals. And while she's changing form, we'll heal up on this guy. There we go. Very nice. And hopefully, yeah, we just absolutely annihilate this phase. That is going to be the kill. Dragon Chain. Go on. Red Dehyde Body. And Thrink Monkfish. 80 points for doing that. All right, we've also got access to this challenge um, where we have to kill the Tazar Jad from the uh, Inferno. So I'm just going to quickly do that. There we go. That should be 80 points, I think. Boom, huge. Just now death the Dorgashan. That is 40 points there. And we can also buy ourselves a um, Dorg Crossbow for another 40 points, I believe. Yes, beautiful. Takes us to 320 points till the next Relic. I would really like to get it before the fight. All right, I know it's been a while since the last recording, but we stocked up a whole bunch more. 880 points. Why can't I buy them? Because I don't have 42 ranged. Well, let's see for a second. If I go to range, we're not going to get lots of XP at all. But if we do 10 points, 41, because we're going to have... We're going to have 20 left over. So you know what? We'll just do that. That is... That's enough there. And then, you know what? Let's just dump 10 in prayer. Because why not? We, we, we do want 43. This guy says love the vids. We're going to drop him a smiley face. Now we can buy it. So let's buy this. This actually kind of hurts because of all the XP that I'm not getting while doing this. But it's going to be really, really good for the fight. We're going to do melee first because we're going to use it. Uh, oh, I'm already, I was already on that. And then the robes. 15 collection log slots. This is huge. This is also a task. 80 points. Look at that magic defense. I don't even have to change gear. And we get plus 10% accuracy in melee and 10% strength in melee. I guess a little less because I'm sacrificing the regen when I do it. I mean, even the gloves give better magic defense though. I think all around, this is going to be so good. We're going to go back to pest control for maybe like 30 more minutes. And then we're going to zoom on out of here. We need the mage helm. I think that would have been enough for 99 strength as well, which kind of bums me out a lot because that would have been first 95 and a 99 skill would have been crazy points. But I just, ugh, I don't want to be here all episode. I do want to be entertaining, even though this is just so overpowered. I mean... I kind of want to just stay here all episode. It's such a dilemma. I fucking caved, guys. I fucking caved. I couldn't help myself. I really want to have a 99 in the fight. So I decided to keep going for it. So I'm going to cash in a bunch more. And I'm going to let it fly. Actually, that was a task. I want to let that ring through. Uh, because my first 95, 200 points. I was thinking about it. I'm like, I can get a lot of points from this. I know it's not the like the most efficient thing to do, 
Oh my god, we're gonna get it. I need to go back to get the helm. The mage helm, but we're gonna get 99. Are you guys ready? The first 99. On the account. Give me those points. 200 points. So maybe getting 99 was a little bit silly because maybe I should have been focusing more on attack and defense to kind of round out the XP. But the most efficient things to put my points in was definitely strength because I got the most XP. But of course, I have to look at it from a fight perspective. Let's buy it. So my max hit looks to be a 36. That is without pots. And if I crit, that's a 72. Even with normal potions, that's gotta go to like... A 78, dare I say 80. Can I hit an 80 on Link? Even if he's protecting melee. 80 times 0.6. I can hit a 48 on him. Oh my god. And that and that's just a whack. That's not even a spec. That's just a bonk across the forehead. Okay, we're done. We're done. We're done with pest control. I want to officially apologize for spending so much time this episode here, but it had to be done. It absolutely had to be done to get the melee and the mage. And we're looking so fierce. But I got an extra 40 points because I wanted to put it into prayer. Why, you might ask? Well, let me dump the next 10 into there as well. And that should get me... No, I'm off. <sighs> I'm gonna have to play one more game. I want Mystic Might. Mystic Might is huge. 15% magical defense. So I'm going to revoke my apology and I'll do it after this game. Oh, and I nearly forgot. That should be a task. Free 40 points. All right, that's the end of the game there. Let's cash this in. For the rest of the 50 minutes, we're going to get our Herb Lore up. And then we're probably going to try to find a few tasks that we can do that we can still just attack things and gain XP. 10 into prayer. There's 45. This will be so big in the fight because, of course, we're going Mage to Freeze. And we want to defend as best as possible. I mean, that alone right there adds whatever 50% of 84 is. That's um, rounding down 80. That's plus 12. Wow. Ooh, just did the uh, Tears of Gothics minigame for some points and then got base level 10 and base level 20. So that was actually a really big task. Um, for us, that takes us down to 100 points until the next relic unlock. Turns out if you do an intermediate, you also get the novice one as well for pest control. So just got two of those there. We are now 50 points away. I'm going to go ahead and bash out the catch 100 raw lobsters and cook 100 raw lobsters. Uh, and that's going to give me 80 points, which will give us the relic. So we're definitely going to get the relic uh, this episode. I think I know what I'm going to go if we have a quick look. Um, the choices are Equilibrium, which I think is bullshit. It just gives you extra XP. And, you know, I, you don't need extra XP in this game mode. <laughs> you can go ahead and get 99s and 90s easily. There's there's no need, you know. Uh, Farmer's Fortune, a little bit tempted by. Um, harvest at the rate of 25 times per action. All patches will give three times the yield. Farming patches grow instantly. It means we can effectively have infinite pots. Um, you know, I would I would just be stacked with prayer pots, which would be useful for the grinds that we want to do. But then there's Runius pra Prayers, which isn't that useful for magic in general. Um, magic isn't really the reason why I would pick this. It's more that uh, if I want to do things like raids, like Chains of Zeric, uh, and the higher tier stuff, I am going to have to use range of melee in those... Um, you know, raids or bosses or whatever we end up doing. And the Runius Prayers would allow me to uh, effectively, you know, really bolster those, like, melee attacks, range attacks, stuff like that. And so that's why I think I'm going to go with the Runius Prayers. I really would like to go with the Farmer's Fortune, not going to lie. Um, but I think this is just too huge not to have for when I'm PVMing. Um, I don't think I'll use it in the fights or use it for my magic, to be honest. Um, I don't think it's that necessary. We're already accurate as fuck. We're already doing stupid damage. Like, it's not really a magic slash fight thing that I'm doing it for. It is straight up so that my melee and range will actually be decent when I do need to use them. So, uh, yeah, that's the thought process. I will think a little bit on it while I catch these hundred, um, lobsters, but 
I think that's how it's going to be. Here we go. One more lobster. We've actually already cooked the 100 because we get the extra from the prodigy. Um, so we've already cooked 100. So just waiting on that one. There we go. Stop the clock. And it's relic time. It is relic time. And I am going to go with the Runius powers. Uh, I think I'll regret it. With the farmer's fortune, yes, it would be helpful and we'd be able to get a load of stuff. We'd be able to get 99 herbal or 99 farming pretty easily. But I just don't know how useful that'll be other than getting prayer pots or super restores. Um, yeah, I just, I don't, I don't think it's going to be that useful for me. Whereas I do want to do some PVM. I do want to be able to complete stuff. And not have like really lackluster, horrible like range and, me and melee. So I'm doing it. Uh, we also get the passive effect of items from sources will be four times as common, which is huge. Uh, so let's go ahead and unlock it. Can I do that here or do I have to be at a bank? I have to be at a bank. No worries. Let's start the timer again. Let's teleport over to uh, Fadal Park. And I'm actually going to try and do some God Wars um for the last bit of this episode but anyway let's unlock the runius powers boom I keep wanting to call them runius prayers but there we go you receive the runius powers all right so as i said previously i want to go kill zami so we need to get ourselves a zami item so i'm going to kill the monks of zamrak here um, they drop the top and bottoms or robes, whatever you want to call them. Did I forget to bring my... Uh, after this kill, we'll tally out and we'll use the uh, last recall to get back here. Uh, but yeah, we need a Zami item so that we don't get absolutely destroyed by uh, all the minions in there. And there we go. Got it. Literally the kill I came back to. Lovely. Okay, cool. So part of me wants to get the bottoms as well. So that's an option for the fight, but they're not really spawning. So you know what? I'll uh, I'll deal with that another time. One slight problem, B's and G's. <laughs> I can't actually get in there. I need 60 agility or 60 strength. I totally forgot. Oh, no. I don't know which one to go for. I should probably do strength because um, I'm going to need to have that anyway for, like, raids. So... Oh, that's a shame. That's a shame. We'll have to do it next episode. I had a little look at Ammonite Crabs. They're just so busy in every single world, all the spots. So I am just going to kill pirates. All right, guys, that is time up. And I'm going with this setup. I'm going to give it a go, see how we do. Um, there's a few differences here from last time. Now, I didn't actually make a recoil, just completely slipped my mind. But to be honest, I'm not too bothered about that because the Ring of Shadows is going to make up for not having um, too much magic armor on. But as you can see, we still have 40 plus magic attack in all of this, which is just massive uh, considering we are able to pull like 150, 160, 180 melee defenses and range defenses as well. Uh, I think he'll really struggle to hit me with range um, with what I'm in here, which will give us a really decent um, advantage. We've also got still got that 24 magic defense bonus, uh, which again, I think he'll struggle to go against because uh, he doesn't have any mage gear or anything like that, or at least last time we were out, he didn't. Uh, still got an 11 prayer bonus in all of it as well. And then we're bringing a defense pot, a prayer pot, and then some food. And we'll, of course, be going between the ice barrage, blood barrage, and I might chuck some shadow barrages in just to uh, get his attack level a bit lower. Uh, so, yeah, that's the plan. Let's see how it goes. Obviously, we've got the fire cake this episode as well. I am so glad I picked up all my limpwort roots. 7.8k. Actually, that's enough. It's only 38 for prayer pots. Wow, that was... I mean, I knew it was going to be easy. I didn't know it was going to be that easy. I had Guams and Marantils in the bank. I was ready to break those out, but we don't even need to. Um, now, I don't think we have much Snape grass. No, we do because the superiors dropped it. That's awesome. Renar, I've been picking them up here and there. Can't type. Um, cool, let's just make all nine. We'll probably get some extra from our perk as well. Look at that. Got some... Oh my god, you get extra Renars just from cleaning it? What the heck? I mean, I know it's leagues, but that's broken. That is broken. 
Boom, like, look, just watch this, guys. Boom, in like that. And then Snape grass, we can just grab everything. We're gonna go up, like, five levels. <laughs> or, or eight. I just made all the potions in my bank, except for the Marantils. I didn't realize I'd be this close, but we're four levels away from a super strength potion. We can already make a super attack. I did mess up a little bit by using all of my Limport roots, but they aren't hard to get at all. I can go to Cockatrices, and they drop them so commonly. I might have to hop here. I'll wait till this one spawns. If they're way too slow, I'll just hop. Oh, create an anti-poison. 10 points. We definitely have more in the bank. Mouse Potion 14. This should actually do it. Get out of last batch of crushed horns only 12 of them come on come on come on i didn't see what level i was is that 55 it's gonna be 54 isn't it it is fuck i mean we're so close oh wait i have all these herbs that i can clean and even if i can't i can just make the super attack potions there we go okay before we do anything with that let's just grab our mirror shields and my mushroom and we're just gonna go get some quick limp war roots 100 combat 80 points i actually got a limp war root my first kill and i just want to get like three of them wait how the heck did i have three other limp war roots in the bank at this point i don't even know if that was my perk doing that or if i'm just like really stupid and can't figure this stuff out but there's super strength Ooh, 45 herb lore so that's going to be 57 with the boost there. Let's go bash out some tasks. That is pots taken care of. Let's actually do this real quick as well. Oh my god, I'm killing them. Not even seeing the fact that I got a granite shield. This is what I was going for though. It is a task for 40 points. That is the fossil Allen Wyvern. Anything good? Renar seed? I don't know if I'll ever plant that, but 40 points. Oh, definitely take the Wyvern bones. Another task coming up. There's actually a lot of people down here. I want to show you guys real quick. I love it. It takes you back to the old days. Guy here, guy here. There's a guy over there somewhere, but they're everywhere. That actually took way too long. I, I had to kill it twice because the first time, it had like two HP missing from it, and I decided to try to kill it anyway, but that's a giant mole. Finito. Oh, is that... Oh, I thought it was going to be two tasks for a second. I've spent the last like two and a half minutes here, and I've only caught four lobsters. There is a task to catch 100 lobsters and cook 100 lobsters. I'm assuming as I fish, I mean, they're going to get much quicker, obviously, as my fishing goes up. Because 100 lobsters would be a lot of XP at 12 times XP rates. It's like catching 1.2k of them. That's insane. But um, yeah, I had nothing else to do, and I figured I'd just start this task. I don't even know where to begin when talking about my upgrades for this fight. We look like an absolute menace right now. So many upgrades ranging from Void to a Fury, to the Leaf Bladed Battle Axe, to the Dragon Defender, to the Super Pot, to the Prayer Potions, to our Mystic Might. I, I, I'm probably missing something here, it's that much. I mean, I do have things like a Strength Cape, but of course that's the same stats as an Obby Cape. I am bringing the Lunar Ring and the Jester Boots. I am trying to stack magic defense as high as humanly possible. I also thought with the recoil, he kind of heals back the what like the recoil does anyway. Now, granted, I think a recoil still can be beneficial. I might be bringing it back because if we're hitting each other and we are actually are next to each other, the recoil, of course, can help. But right now, the goal is just as high magic defense as possible. And I think we did pretty good. <laughs> So, same plan as last fight. We're going to freeze him. If he's away from me and I'm frozen, I am going to just throw in mage hits. Do I think they're going to really hit? Obviously not, but it's just a way I can tank as many hits as possible because that gives plus 10. And I do think it's worth the food just putting some hits into him. If I have to make him eat one time, that is a lot when I'm frozen because there's, of course, a delay on it. I think I can hit like an 80 I mean, I know I can hit an 80. It might be more than that. I just don't know the exact amount. The superset minus the defense is going to wreak fucking havoc. My stats are through the roof. 84 magic. I wish that was higher, to be honest, but 
if this doesn't work out perfectly, I'm still really stoked that my attack is really low. I know that sounds weird, but I think the biggest drawback of this setup right now is that I neglected attack. I'm a little scared I'll be inaccurate. It'll show up in Obsidian. It gives zero magic attack, so we could do that. But there's trade-offs with that as well. If he goes Obsidian, I'll hit better with Entangles. If he goes Infinity, then my axe is going to just fucking like cut right through it. So I'm going to stop rambling. Let's go in the fight. Can I... Link. Eight, eight hours. hours. Yes. Fucking eight. long time, man. It a was a long time. to do in eight hours. Yeah, 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 yeah. How, I mean, how did it go for you? How did you feel that? Oh, I think my episode was incredible. Really? I think, I think it's good. And you know what, Link? Not one how? person suggested this plan on any YouTube videos. And I was thinking, like, how can I counter this? How can I counter this? There's a lot of obvious things like Black Dehyde. I mean, I just spoiled I didn't have Black Dehyde. I think I have something better, but... Not one person suggested it. And they're like, am I like freaking myself out here? This is a bad plan because no one's even recommending it. But I ran the numbers, dude. Everything's looking good. I feel I feel pretty confident coming okay. into this fight. All right. All right. Well, uh, let's do a cheeky little combat reveal then. And I'm let's looking do forward it. to seeing what the fuck you <laughs> come up with here. <laughs> if my guy um, starts jester shit, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I, I, I'm just in full jester. I'm just absolutely uh, memeing at this point. <laughs> oh, God. All right, you hit us in the countdown and we'll... Uh... Three, two, one, go. Oh, my oh. fucking God. <laughs> Jesus. What? <laughs> Oh. Wow. Okay. What? <laughs> okay. Right, I'm looking you up. I'm looking you up. What? You're looking me up. Oh, yeah. God. Yeah. What the yeah. fuck? <laughs> no. 99 strength. <laughs> How the fuck have you done that? I'll just put it on. I'll put it. On. I'm not gonna spoil it. How have yet. you I'm done not that? Spoil that? Genuinely, I want to know the method. That's insane. No, oh, no, trust me. You will know. You will know. You will know. You will know. 77 right, attack, I... 70 defense. Wow. 84 magic? Fucking hell. You got busy, didn't you? Look at my body. Oh, wow. Did you spend the points? I did. Wow. It is so fucking fast. Really? It is so fast. That's why I didn't want to tell you, but I'm like, the, the jig is going to be up. He's going to know right, I have Void yeah, the yeah, moment yeah, I yeah, say yeah. pest control. Put on cave and body. Put on cave and body. Did it. He fucking did it. He fucking did it. He yeah, fucking did it. did it. I think it was like a 34 minute or something. <laughs> it was ridiculous. It's um, a lot of points. Just fire cave in general. Yeah, I, 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 I was tempted to take a hit as well, because that's like a... I think 80 or 200 point. And I was like, do yeah. I do it? But I didn't. I would have done it. I nah, it was done a Slayer it. task. I... I wanted the Slayer points. So... <laughs> yeah, okay, fair. Um, okay, and then I'm going slightly Did he go the today. Obby? He's going yeah. the Obby. Mm. I knew it was going to be that or Infinity this episode. Mm -hmm. And I don't know which one I would have wanted to see more, to be honest. They both kind of suck. But... Yeah. Well, for me, they suck. Yeah, yeah, From yeah, my yeah, perspective. Yeah, um, yeah so, dude, I was looking at the stats, and I'm pissed off. They don't give any negative magic no attack. No negative magic like, attack. Like, are you kidding me? Yeah, it's fucking Jack, dumb it's making it easy for me. I'm trying my best. Dumb OP. Legs, legs. Legs. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm, yeah. I'm not even going to fuck okay. around here. I mean, okay. I'll, yeah. I'll I'll put on my gloves, too, because nice. you'll know. I'm uh, going with these, not the region. I'm I mean, I'm not going to change these two, region and yeah. the theory. That'd be silly, too. Um, um, this isn't going to change. I mean, I do have a Fury. I didn't have it last episode. Oh, you got you got the mag. Oh, 84 magic. 84 right, yes. magic. Yep, yeah, there, yep. there's a reason it's exactly 84. Yeah, yeah right. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> I, I am bringing Jester boots. Right, okay. I think you can still just stack as much as possible with the magic defense. Okay, still rocking the hams. Still yeah. rocking the hams. Uh, no, it's uh, got a weapon and a ring. Let's go ring. My, my ring's different. So is mine. Oh, bring a okay, shadow. I am. Oh, they were screaming at you to get that. <laughs> well, to be honest, I wouldn't normally bring it. I forgot to make recoils, but I was like, fuck it. For, for right. progress, it helps. It gives magic attack. It gives prayer. So I got it, and I'm just wearing it for the fight because I didn't get recoils. I am going Lunar Ring. Ooh, Still just stacking okay. magic right. defense yeah, yeah. I as guess much as humanly possible. Recoils right now don't really matter because of how quick the fights have been. 
So I guess that makes and sense. And you heal up anyway. And I'm yeah. like, recoil still do help. Like, if I got you next to me and you're attacking back, they will help. But mm -hmm. I'm just thinking, like, I think just not being frozen is the main problem I have to fix first. Yeah, this is me. Let me this put that me. on. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, shit. He got it. He fucking got it. <sighs> fucking got it. You are Link. deadly as fuck if you get anywhere near me. I'm so happy I... I'm not in monk's robes. I'm, I'm so, I, I wish you chose infinity. Yeah, I no, fucking I'm, wish you had infinity. I'm on, so glad I didn't. And I oh. went this route instead. This is And my so attack much isn't that high. And the all episode, I was like, I should get like 90 attack, 90 strength. But I'm like, no. I wanted the 99. I wanted, I wanted the, the 99. 99. Nah, I wanted fair. all the points. I wanted to hit like a fucking 80 on you. All right, dude. Let's send each other our imageries. Boom. There you go. Oh, he's got super set as well. Fucking hell. Well, I guess no super defense, but... No defense. Jesus Christ. Did you get that? Did you actually get the herb lore for that? Or is that yeah, it's, it's not much. It's only 55 I right. needed. And yeah. I have production prodigy, so I needed like 43. Two prayer pots is an interesting choice. Yeah, uh, my thought process is I don't want to have to worry about switching prayers and stuff. Okay. Uh... I'm gonna, gonna start say, potting up. I've only got start one. Potting so, up, yeah, start okay. potting up. Start potting up. Cool, cool. All cool, right, cool. Link. This is your two second warning. Good luck. GL, GL. <sighs> okay. He's hit a 40 off the bat. I'm in lots of trouble here, guys. I just gotta get away. Nice. See that? That is why so many people have been saying far casting shouldn't be allowed. But if far casting is not allowed, I am in so much trouble. Just that little bit there, he took so much of my food out is a joke. Boom. I should eat there. Gotta be smarter. Gotta be smarter. And I think it's worth just staying, staying high here, guys. And I'm not protecting from melee. That's really poor. Oh. Very dropped. It's back up. It's back up. Put him down. Put him down. Put him down. Put him down. Come on, come on, come Shit. on, come on. Oh, okay. that was way better though. Jesus Christ, I definitely felt that, dude. That 40, I could have died at any point. I was under like 30 HP for ages. Like while I, was I did eating. very off of it, the freezing as well, because I have to wait till I'm frozen for a bit, then freeze you yeah. so I can keep, and I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, that clicked only about halfway through the fight. Guys, that there's, start there, there's improvement. That start was not... not you could have KO'd me. I definitely could have died there. Twice or three times, I think. I, I gotta get my attack up, guys. I, I think the gear is good. I, I think I think the progress is there. I I'm worried when he has ZGS and shit like that. Then we're gonna be in trouble. <laughs> oh, shit. We're gonna get out of here. These and G's. Um, next episode coming very, very soon. We will see you there over on Rug's channel. Click the playlist in the description or in the top right corner to get yourself caught up with everything. And there'll be more episodes if you're a little bit late to this episode. So boom. Again, a massive thank you to Enlisted. Don't forget to give it a go by clicking the link in the description.